do anything else but serve the Lord. Amen. Because all that I've been through, it was because of Him yeah. that I thank you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah.
the fifth verse. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 7, verse 19, all the way down to verse 8 in chapter 8. So I'm going to read a little bit swiftly, so I pray that you would keep up with us today. Amen. Verse number 19, Romans chapter 7, verse number 19. It says, For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. I'll stop right there. Amen. Amen. Evil is present is our subject for today. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for what's about to be done in this service, in this part of time. Heavenly Father, we petition your throne of grace. We know that you are almighty God. We know that you sit high and you look low. We know that you're everywhere all at the same time. Heavenly Father, we petition you, Lord, to forgive us of our sins and we forgive those that have sinned against us. Heavenly Father, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And, oh God, we make one special request as your word go forth, right. that you would be with my father, Leo Chipman, in this time. Yes, sir. Heavenly Father, we don't understand, but you know. Yes, so we thank you, oh God, you, Lord, for what you are about to do. Yes, sir. Lord, be with him as he journeys through this life. All right. We give your name, go around and pray. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding yes, today. Yes, Lord. To apply your word to our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Evil is present. Yes, sir. Amen. There's a lesson that we started to teach on uh, the other day about the 12 tribes of Ishmael. And All we right. were interrupted. Amen. Because when we go to do good, Evil is always present. And it has been so for a long time. Paul in this book of Romans is not the only one to write about that evil is present. And I want you to understand the word evil. Amen. I'm going to try to be short. Amen. Today. But, you know, I'm going to try to get the job done. Amen. Evil is the word Leo spelled backwards. Amen. And anything that is opposed or the opposite of what God tells us to do is evil. Some of us call it sin. Amen. And if we live backwards, we live evil. Yes, sir. Paul said that when I go to do good, evil is present. Amen. Every time I have that thought to do good, yeah. it appears to always come up a negative thought mm -hmm. to hinder me from the good that I would do. Yes, sir. Right. Paul goes on to talk about the flesh. He talks about uh, in this flesh, he talks about being delivered uh, from this body of sin. Amen. When we talk about flesh, there's a thing that we talk about with animals. We talk about animals have a animalistic nature. In other words, an animal does whatever it feels like doing at the time. Amen. You wonder why. Amen. Amen. A dog would mess on the carpet or pee on the carpet is because he's a dog. But you do not expect a human to do that. But when we are not receptive of God, we will do any and every old thing. Amen. 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 Paul said, I find myself doing what I would not do. I do what I don't want to do sometimes, and it's because of this flesh. Yes, There's a war going on on the inside of me yes, in my members, the members of my body. There's a war going on because I want to please God, but my flesh wants to please itself. Flesh has desires. You already told yourself 
that you wasn't going to eat no bread, you wasn't going to eat no ham, you wasn't going to eat any pork. That's what you told yourself in your mind, but your flesh desires to have it anyway. Did you know that this flesh still has to follow after the law of sin and death? There's no life in the flesh. Yes, sir. The flesh will soon be dissolved. What we have to do is follow after the spirit. You said, Pastor, where can I get a dose of the spirit? I'm glad you asked. The Bible says that the word of God is spiritual. Yes, that means it is spirit food. So when we exercise the word of God, we're taking a full dose of the spirit. So the Bible tells us not to follow after flesh, but to follow after the spirit. And the spirit of God is able to aid us even though evil is present. There's something inside of us that when we will to do good, there's something suspect on the other side trying to give us a hint to live the opposite of the good that we know. Amen. Amen. Evil is present. There's a story I'm going to go to tell a lesson about Ishmael, the 12 tribes of Ishmael. And I didn't say the 12 tribes of Israel. And I thought that that was a different type of subject because Amen. We always talk about the 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob's 12 sons, 12 tribes of Israel. We always talk about that, but we never usually talk about Ishmael because Ishmael was the bond son. Yes, sir. The son of Hagar. Amen. One of the wives of Abraham. Yes, sir. Now Abraham, amen, remembered him and Sarah. God had promised him a seed that would outnumber the stars. Amen. But because God was a long time in coming, Sarah decided to help God out. Right. And she sent in Hagar, her handmaid, uh, her servant, to have a baby by her husband, Abraham. Yes, sir. Amen. Abraham, amen. She went in with Abraham and Hagar conceived. Yes, and a son was born. Amen. And this son was named Ishmael. All right. Now Ishmael was not the promised son because God promised Abraham seed from his loins and Sarah. All right. So Ishmael was Sarah trying to help God out. Yeah. And I'm just going to forsake uh, 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 of talking today. I'm going to call it a mess up. Right. That was Sarah's mess up. Okay. Trying to help God out. And how many of you know that if God promises something, he does not need us to help him out. Hallelujah. Amen. One of my friend preachers, he put on Facebook that he's going to talk about husband and wife and the side piece. Amen. Amen. I'm asking he might be talking about this. Amen. But Hagar conceived and had a son. Amen. 13 years, amen, old, he was circumcised. Him and Abraham was circumcised as well at 90 some years of age. I think 99 years old. Abraham, Ishmael, all of the males that belonged to Abraham were circumcised. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Did you know Ishmael, being the born child, not the child of promise, was also circumcised right. to be identified with the children of God. Yes, Amen. 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 Now, just because we mess up does not mean God is not righteous and just to our mess up. God, right. God I want you to see something here. Evil is present. Even though Sarah wanted to do good, uh, her flesh, amen, went in the wrong direction. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I'm going to help God out. How can this thing be possible if I don't help God out? Do you understand what I'm saying? 
How can this thing be possible if we don't help God with this dilemma? All right. Do you hear me with this dilemma? How can we do it if we don't help God out? I'm going to send in Hagar, and I'm going to let her have a baby, and this is going to be what God promised. No, that's just faking it. Amen. Amen. I, I really don't believe in faking it till you make it. You know, that was the saying, fake it till you make it. Amen. You don't have to fake it till you make it. Just be for real with the Lord. Amen. Just be for real. Evil is present. Now, just because Sarah messed up didn't mean God was going to treat the mess up. Amen. Like it wasn't nothing to be acknowledged. Watch this. Even though Ishmael wasn't the promised son, God promised to prosper all of Abraham's descendants. All right. And just because, amen, Ishmael was not the son of priority yes, didn't mean that God was going to treat him badly. All right. Why do you say that, brother preacher? In Genesis chapter 25, amen, I believe, Verse 12 through 18, there's the genealogy, the descendants, the Tony dot, that's the, the, that's the descendants of Ishmael. Yes. All of his sons and their 12 tribes, and they owned land and prospered. Right. God decided on his own to do just or righteous toward Ishmael. Yes, yes, sir. Even though he was not the promised son. Right. Some of you in your households, you have children born outside of wedlock. And instead of treating them as you would the children in the marriage relationship, you treat them as outsiders. All right. All right. If God does not display that attitude. God allows Ishmael to be treated Right. Yes, sir. God. Yes, sir. God. All right. Yes, sir. God have mercy. But God is a keeper of his promise. Yes, he is. And he blessed Isaac. Amen. Yes, sir. With that special spiritual blessing. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. But he didn't leave Ishmael without. It. All right. Praise the Lord. Even though evil is present. Sarah decided she's going to put out Hagar and her son from the house. Yes, sir. Because Ishmael was, amen, meddling with Isaac. Yes. I, I'm going to get a Sunday school lesson somewhere in there. Amen. She decided, well, we, they got to get out. Yes. If Ishmael going to mess with my son, then he got to go. Yes. She told her husband, you need to put her out. Yes, sir. You need to put the bond woman out. Because we can't get along no more. I'm jealous. I mean, I just can't take it no more. Yes, sir. And that was her idea in the first place. Mm -hmm. How come she can't, she can't, she can't, she can't stand what she put out? Mm -hmm. I mean, you understand? She yes, said it, but she can't handle it. Right. Amen. A lot of times we do stuff and say stuff that we can't handle ourselves. Right. So many times we make statements we can't even stand it ourselves. Right. Amen. And so when her problem grew up. She couldn't have it. Uh, There's a lot of stuff that we ask for, that we do, that we later find out that we can't handle. Uh, the evil that we do, we can't handle it. Once we put it out, it's a loose. Yeah. And you do understand that when you put it out, it's loose. Yeah, and later on, you're going to have to what? Deal with it. Uh, God have mercy. Amen. So the man so show Shelly reap. Sooner or later, what you put out, you're going to have to okay. deal with it. When it, it came time to deal with it, Hagar couldn't deal with it. I mean, Sarah couldn't deal with it. So she said, Abraham, you got to put it out. Uh -huh. So Abraham, Abraham, God came to Abraham and told Abraham, do what your wife said. Yeah. Put it out. Yeah, sir. Uh -huh. He put it out, but he supplied her with water and food to make the journey. And she went out, and Abraham was about to die, but God let her know. He filled her bag back up with water, showed her water supply. Uh -huh. And then God told her, He said, I'm with you. Uh -huh. I'm going to take care of you. Yes, yes. And that's what God does know, even when we do wrong. Yes, yes. And, and there are wrong, 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 wrong things come out of it that we don't perceive. God is still a righteous and just God. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes, yes. 
time. Even in human relationships, when, when offspring come out, don't think that God don't punish them for something you did. Right, right. Did you, you miss that? Mm -mm. Don't think God's gonna punish them for something you did. You told hey God to go into your hood. Right. Amen. And out come this child. Now you don't want it to be even taken care of, want it put out. Don't care what happened. But God is a just, yes, just God. Yes, sir. Just God. Yes, sir. Just God. Yes, sir. He's a just God. Yes, I would even be circumcised. Uh -huh. And outside, not only was Abraham circumcised, but his whole house, his, all the slaves and males that he had purchased were circumcised along with him. Yes, sir. They enjoyed some of the privileges. Amen. Amen. They enjoyed some of the privileges of being with God's people. And so many today are enjoying privileges of being with God's people when they can be one of God's people. Amen. Hallelujah. Anyhow. Somebody here today said, well, Pastor, I, I, I don't see you. What do you mean you hit with a crooked stick because I'm over in Genesis and, and I'm really coming from Romans and, and, and I want you to know Paul had a dilemma on his hand because I know what's right to do but I find myself doing those things that are wrong. Can I talk to somebody just from the heart? Just yeah, 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 I don't yeah. get through on, right now. The, the thing that's present is that evil and uh -huh. we all won't have to deal with the evil that's present. I'm telling you when you go to do good Evil is standing right there. Yes, yes, it's ready to pounce on you. It's ready to persuade you to live backwards, to do the opposite of what God's word tells you to do. It's sitting right, right there to persuade you. And if you were easily persuaded, it's gonna pull you the other way. Yeah, right. That's right. Paul said, Paul said, now I'm, I'm here. I am. I'm an apostle, and here I am wrestling with the flesh. Mm -hmm. Here I am considering to do what I know is not right to do. Yes, Paul said, Paul said, there's another law at work in my members. Look at these verses. I, I want you to see it. By the time we got to verse 21, he said, I find in a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Uh -huh. But I delight in the law of God after the inward man inside. I know God. On the inside, I know God. But this here, this here, this here flesh, this here flesh have fleshly desires. This, this, this lady called uh, Joyce Myers, a uh, pastor or uh, teacher, she has a book out called Battlefield of the Mind. That the battle is in the mind. So that so as a man thinketh, so is he. Uh, so as you perceive yourself, that's the way you will act on the outer being. Uh -huh. That means if you think you're nothing, you'll live like you're nothing. If you think you're a nobody, you'll let people treat you like a nobody. Right. You have to think of yourself more highly than that. Right. You got to say, I'm worth more than that. Yeah. Amen, amen. Because if you think low, and that's the whole job of us to encourage others to think better of themselves. I'm a child of the king. I deserve better. So is a man thinking, so is he. But flesh will have you think the opposite. Now, what was at war with me is, you know, I'm living and I'm seeing people around me and their health go down. Uh -huh. And I'm looking at flesh go down. And forgetting that flesh is under the control of the law of sin and death. Did you miss that? You missed that. Because this earthly tabernacle will soon be dissolved, but that spirit, oh, you don't hear me, can live on. So I, I find myself warring with this mental attitude that my flesh is the last forever. <laughs> because my flesh has a desire to control me. And because I cannot see the spirit and it leave the flesh, I think that the flesh is winning. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. And 
see you know evil is present. It'll get us to the point to where we give in to the flesh. Yes, sir. Paul says, I thank God. Watch this. Watch what Paul says. He says, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members, meaning that it's in my body. My body is going down, but my spirit is going up. Yeah. Amen. All right. Oh, you missed it. My spirit is going up, but my body is going down. Why? It's subject. Yes, sir. The Bible says that everything we can see, feel, and touch is temporary. Mm -hmm. But what we cannot see is eternal. Amen. So I have to understand that this body can be touched. Uh -huh. This body can be seen. Uh -huh. This body is only temporary. Yes, uh -huh. yes, it is. But what the spirit is eternal. All right. Paul said, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? There is therefore now, wait, wait, wait. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, with the mind, with the mind, with the mind, I myself serve the law of God with the mind. I serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. All right. With my mind, if we keep our mind stayed on Him, yeah. He's able to keep us in perfect peace. Yeah. Uh, did you hear me? Yeah. Our mind, battlefield of the mind. But we keep concentrating on the flesh, and this flesh is living after the law of sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evil is present. Yes, yeah. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And where did we get a big dose of the spirit? From the word of God. Yes, sir. Because it is spiritual, meaning that it is spirit full. Right, so if I live according to the word of God, I get a big dose of the spirit. I don't have to walk after the flesh, uh -huh. which is going down, but my spirit and mind are going up. Amen. Somewhere down the line, I have to get rid of this earth suit. Yes, sir. Yes. And put on my spirit suit. Yes, yes. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do is that it was weak through the flesh because flesh couldn't keep the law because it was spiritual. The flesh couldn't keep the law. The flesh couldn't keep the law because the law was spiritual. And the flesh couldn't keep that because the flesh is under the law of sin and death. The body is going to have to go, but the spirit will live. Yes. Yes, evil is present. What do you mean evil is present? Here it is right here, in the flesh. The Bible even talks at one point, says that in this flesh no good thing dwells. All right. Amen. So yes, if you're falling after pleasing flesh, you cannot please God. That's right, sir. Amen. Because flesh is going to come to an end. Evil does not win. God wins in the end. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Whose side are you on? Yeah. Yeah. Are you on the side of flesh? Do everything that feels good. No, are you on the side of God, which is spirit? And you do those things that are healthy concerning God. Uh -huh. Oh, somebody gonna hear me. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. The flesh couldn't keep it. Couldn't keep it. Amen. God sending his own son in the likeness, in the let me notice that. Circle that, underline it, shade it in red. Put it in a tap. <laughs> God sent his own son in the 
like mess of sinful flesh and for sin, condemn sin in the flesh, he sent him in the image of right. likeness of sinful flesh. He didn't know no sin. Yes, sir. He didn't know no sin. So he was like it, but he wasn't. It. He came to condemn, condemn sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are of the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded, that means fleshly minded, uh -huh. is uh -huh. death. Yeah. Watch this. So, if you do everything you want to do, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to try to bring it down That's all right. on, on a level that That's you all right. Do everything you want to do. Mm -hmm. That's pleasing to you. Smoke, crack. I mean, hitting crack, <laughs> you hitting whatever. Yes, sir. Running out to here, going up in the crowd, even though they tell you to be careful. You protect yourself, running here, there, doing everything flesh want to do. And flesh can lead you to an early end. Uh huh. Because you're minding things of the flesh. I'm going to do whatever I want to do because it's pleasing to your flesh. But we need to mind, mind yes, the things of the spirit, and some of this fleshly stuff will fall off, yes, even though evil is present. Uh huh. There's a war going on, and where is it going on? It's going on in this body. Yes, sir. Evil is trying to win over living. Here go two words, live and, and evil. Yes, sir. The Bible says, choose life and live it. Choose to live and not to die. All right. Choose life. It, I mean, it seems simple, right? But we attach ourselves to dying things rather than to living things. Mm -hmm. That's right. You say, well, well, preacher, what do you mean? I'm saying evil is present. You can touch it, you can feel it, you can see it. All right. But things that pertain to life are not necessarily seen and they are not illegal. Yes, sir. There's no law says I can't love. You can't build a fence to keep me from loving. All right. You can't build a fence to keep me from being at peace. Uh -huh. You can't build a fence to keep joy away. Amen. You can do things to me, but my mind is okay. to serve the Lord. He gives me the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Do you understand? God is love. You can't, you can't build a fence to do that. I can live because I'm free from the law of sin and death. This flesh may be going down, but I am steadily going up because somewhere down the line I have to release this flesh and let it return from which it came back to the dirt yes, sir. and my spirit to the God who gave me. All right. I, I'm here to tell somebody now, you can choose, you can choose, you can choose. When that thought comes to mind, you have to understand that there's going to be a country of thought. You, you, why not? Why not? You know, it ain't always your friend, and it ain't always your buddy trying to get you to do wrong. Sometimes right there in the arena of your mind, Evil shows up and says, why not do it? Why not cuss him out? Won't it feel good to you? And then you go home with a guilty conscience. You go home not filled with the spirit because you gave in to evil living backwards rather than living forward. Yes, sir. All right. What, what happened? Now, now, now and you, just like the apple in the garden, Abraham had to agree with what Sarah was doing. Now see, I told you I was going to be all over the place. That's all right. That's all right. Didn't Abraham, just like Adam ate the apple, uh, the fruit, mm -hmm. didn't, didn't Abraham had to lay with Hagar? Uh -huh. Abraham knew the promise. So did Sarah. Uh -huh. But she going to help God out and Abraham went in on and agreed. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Adam and Eve. Yeah. Adam knew what God said. Uh -huh. yeah. Of every tree you could eat. 
But this tree of good and evil, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat of that tree. But guess what? They both knew it. And what happened? He went ahead on and took it when she gave it to him. Abraham went on and laid down with Hagar once Sarah sent him to him. Did you hear me? Y'all see where we're going? You see yeah. where we're going, right? That's my question. That's right. Don't think Jesus, when he came in flesh, mm -hmm. was any different because when Jesus got ready to go to the cross, evil was present. That's right. He said, oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, remove this bitter cup from me. Uh -huh. My flesh don't want to handle this. Mm. But see, to do what God says, that's what spiritual and that's what living is all about. Amen. But Satan would make you believe that life is only for you to drive in the car, <laughs> have them in the house, <laughs> do all you can to step on somebody else's back, to get a little old promotion, <laughs> make somebody else sad, snatch what somebody else has got, so you can please yourself only for a few moments. Because after a while, it's going to get old, it's going to lose value, it's going to lose interest, yes, and where will you be? Right. Somewhere sitting around saying, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, yeah you got the new tennis shoes. Yeah, you knocked somebody in the head. Yeah, you shot somebody just to join the game mm -hmm. that the game's going to be dissolved after a while. Uh, yeah. Oh, you didn't hear me when I say he was here the president. But you can choose today life. Uh -huh. You can take a full dose of a spiritual happening. Uh -huh. All you gotta do is get the book and find out what pleases God and hang on and hold on to that. Yeah, yes. uh -huh. And let the flesh have a fit. Right. Hallelujah in the house. Well, Jesus died. Yep. Six to the ninth hour. Uh -huh. He died. Yes, sir. Died on that cross. Yes, sir. Gave up the ghost. Hung his head in the locks of his shoulders. Will bury it in a bottle or two. But every Sunday morning, getting up morning, he got up with all power. Now the earth was given unto him. His father reached way down. Resurrected his son. Hallelujah. And put power in his hand. Yes, we thank God today yes, for you joining us. Remember this evil is present. Yes, it is. All the time. Well, I'm going to tell you, like the word says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. Let his mind be in you. Put your mind on things above and allow God to deliver you to life. May God bless you today. Thank you for joining us.